Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career reading for April 2021 for the sign of, of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading as we always do and pull your overarching energy. Okay, the card is out and we have, wow, the world. That is a beautiful energy, certainly in terms of money and career, worldly success. Message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Taurus. Thank you. Okay. I've got answers. Okay, message for Taurus, please, angels. What is the message that Taurus needs to hear? Money and career only, April 2021. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Might resonate for you, Taurus. We have detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous and supportive. Interestingly enough, I mean, the world card is a card of achievement, but a card of stepping through to the next phase of your life as well. So some success, accomplishment, achievement, and being ready to step through to the next phase of your life. So for some of you, it might well be you have been evaluating your circumstances and taking action towards where you want to be. And it feels for some of you, you are on the brink of stepping through to get to where you want to be, you know, or to be where you want to be. So we'll move those over slightly. So I'm going to pull five cards, Taurus. Message for Taurus, please. Angel spirits, guides, money, career, finances only. Thank you for April 2021. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Your challenge, seven of cups. Queen of Wands, generally a card of Aries for me as a reader, male or female energy because it's a general reading, that's what's going for you. So the, the court cards can be you or somebody who you're meeting in April 2021. Two of Wands we have in Obstacles to Overcome. Ten of Swords, Taurus is advice from spirit. And, you know, we have the moon. Wow, that's powerful. And the nine of wands. So the moon is your future outcome, nine of wands, bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel for some of you, I'm getting, some of you are getting the answer that you want. It's interesting. Finding answers. Yes, this can be about going within, finding answers on how you need to take action in your external environment. It can also be to do with, I'm getting a specific answer because the, the, sorry, the, the world card is a card of achievement, success, accomplishment, what you've been working towards, this can represent goal achievement and being ready to step through to a new phase of your life. It's a card of worldly success, celebration. So for some of you, I'm really strongly feeling that you're getting the answer that you want this month, getting some kind of answer, but it might well be towards the end of the month. I'm just saying that, won't be for everybody this. Um, yeah, because there's definitely an energy of perseverance. Hmm. The Seven of Cups uh, is in the challenge position. So this can be a card of you have more options than you realise. can be about choices, decisions here as well. 
going for your hopes, dreams and wishes. And this is new hopes, new dreams, new wishes now. And taking action towards them. For some of you, it feels there's something that you want to manifest here. And it might well be for some of you that there's some time here to manifest it, maybe some choices or decisions to make. But it definitely feels in this energy, this is to do with your hopes, dreams and wishes, something that you want to manifest. Maybe a challenge in making some choice or decision. Because I'm going to clarify that Seven of Cups. It's a card of daydreaming. It's a card of, oh, wouldn't this be lovely to actually manifest? Something that's absolutely connected to your hopes, dreams and wishes. But And the choices that you need to make in order to make one of those hopes, dreams and wishes a reality. The actions that you need to take. Yeah. So I have the Six of Swords. So maybe making some choice or decision here. Again, there's a feeling of detaching from something. Now, the Six of Swords can be a card of moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. It's a card of transition. It feels like you're taking steps, making some choices or decisions here to move from a period of challenge or unease, call it what you will, to better times ahead. So you want to bring change to your circumstances and focus on new hopes, dreams and wishes. Uh, because for some of you, this represents that there has been some choppy waters uh, that, that you want to detach from now. And the message with the Six of Swords is you're heading in the right direction towards these hopes, dreams and wishes. You're not quite there yet. Again, I was feeling this time energy here, some time needed. Um, but you're heading in the right direction and soon the worst will be behind you. So it feels very beautiful for that reason. In the challenge position, it's interesting, the Seven of Cups is aligning to those hopes, dreams and wishes, allowing yourself to align and take action and detach from that which you don't need anymore. Because the Six of Swords is new world energy towards a new vision. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, so this can be somebody who you might be meeting. She holds some kind of opportunity, so she might be offering you some kind of opportunity. She is a charismatic, magnetic leader, um, instinctive. She's very, very intuitive. She acts on her intuition. She makes calculated judgments, decisions based on her intuition. So I definitely feel in this energy, there might be somebody, she, she is a card of success. So again, you might be meeting some kind of leader um, who holds some kind of opportunity here, Taurus. Now this can also be you, obviously, with the court cards. So there is an, a message, trust your intuition on how you need to take action. Um, that is what, that's what, this is what's going for you. You, you. you bring success, accomplishment into your life by trusting your intuition and acting on what you feel is right. Taking, being in your power, taking the lead, acting with confidence. Um, yeah, and a level of independent action. She's quite an independent energy, you know. Yeah, the Two of Wands is, is a card of, of you might be choosing between two paths, two opportunities. I mean, that could be an energy of staying where you are and not focusing on those hopes, dreams and wishes. Or that could be one path for you. The other path could be going down a new route. Uh, it feels like there's some choices or doors to open that are available to you now. So the message is, it feels like some kind of opportunity is available to you. But there's definitely an energy of you being at a crossroads. Which way do I go? 
and again with that queen of wands energy you trust your intuition you act you make calculated choices decisions actions on what feels right uh, this is about choices about your future there are some choices to make about your future and that's the obstacle to overcome uh, it feels choices making some clear choices is is clear to you this month in terms of some kind of obstacle to overcome now, interestingly enough the ten of swords um taurus it is about well this is about this can be about loss it can be about crisis it you know crisis hurt wounds going through a difficult time pain but you know there's an energy of this being a 10 i like the 10 of swords because the message from spirit is you can see the sun is beginning to break through those clouds behind this this person and there is a new day a new dawn beginning to rise that is pushing away the darkness it definitely feels like a new hope um absolute new hope you might have been through a difficult time here taurus but there is an opportunity now to put that behind you, to release from what this Ten of Swords meant to you. Um, and embrace, you know, release the pain. Release from that pain. Again, the feeling of surrender with the, with the moon energy. Surrender. Trust. This is blind faith in the universe. Trust you're being watched over guided. Um, even though you don't see how something's going to pan out. There's definitely an energy of lack of clarity here with the moon energy. This is about trust because there's hidden blessings all around you. You are absolutely being guided to be on the right path. So I definitely get with that moon energy, lack of clarity, fear, doubt, uncertainty. If something is going to be over here, and the message is clearly, yes, something is going to be over. And it feels like, it definitely feels, the Nine of Wands is there may well be one more thing to go for it to be over, one more obstacle to overcome, maybe to do with one more choice to make or decision here, Taurus. But then you're finished. You can release the past journey. Um, there's an energy with the Nine of Wands of perseverance. Keep going. Because you're so close. So, so close. To getting the goal. You know? You're so close to bringing an end to a challenging time. And I'm seeing this circle here again. And I'm definitely seeing that linked with this celebration achievement accomplishment drawing a line into something and stepping through to a new phase of your life so it definitely feels for some of you and I'm, I'm feeling this really strongly because this is about having blind faith trust you're being watched over guiding there's hidden blessings but also trust your intuition again moon in Sagittarius trust your intuition um, persevere, keep going. Don't let the lack of clarity block you from completing something now because completion is within sight in terms of some kind of significant achievement, victory, accomplishment, celebration. You'll be getting, it feels for some of you, you're going to get the answer that you need. With this Nile of Wands and the World card, it feels like it might come towards the end um of the month but it definitely feels for some of you obviously that's me being specific it won't be for everybody people are at different life stages but for some of you there is the achievement the worldly success coming your way um, and the world card is when you step through to that new phase of your life this is an energy of i'm not going back you know you don't go back you never go back. You only go forward with the world card. So when something is completed, it is completed. There's no going back. And I definitely get this energy, Taurus, of yes, it's been choppy waters, challenging times. But now is the time to very much act on your intuition. 
make calculated judgments, decisions, take control of situations, be in your power, um, have the determination, the courage, the confidence to act now because she is a sign of success. And again, this worldly success, accomplishment, victory, goal is available to you. It feels very beautiful. I definitely feel for some of you, you're going to get the answer that you've been wanting. It feels there's perseverance, keep going, you're closer than you think. And then, bam, you get the answer that you've been wanting. Um, lovely energy. So final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus. And it might well be she's offering, she holds the wand. So these two wands, this leader, if it is somebody that you might be meeting, that they hold one of these wands that will make you make some kind of choice or decision about your future. Yeah, you might be getting some answers or feedback. Final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus. Money and career, please, only. So I've got Leaf Cutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support. You are not alone. Very lovely message to have. It's something to do with detoxing. Again, I, I just feel whatever this, this I mean, friendship is on a different, you know, number of levels. But it's people you're associating with. You're reviewing who you want in your life and who you don't. It feels like there's been some challenge or choppy waters here. I love this. Ladybird, look. All of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Now, I'm saying they have been heard. You're being watched over, guided, hidden blessings. And you're going to get some answer back on that. Wow. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.